how to use Freshworks CRM Fresh Sales Tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Fresh Sales, which is basically the CRM tool, which is the client relationship management tool provided by Freshworks.com. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to go on to Freshworks.com and then you can just go on to their products and then you can just click on Fresh Sales over here. So Fresh Sales is their CRM tool. And then you're just going to click on Sign Up over over here now we're just going to get started with our gmail account so you can just try for fresh sales for 21 days and use all of their premium features and then uh, later on you can choose the plan that you want to opt for for so we're just going to continue with our google account over here and i'm just going to continue now i'm just going to be redirected to my account setup so we're just going to wait for a few seconds and I already have a Freshworks account, but this is a Fresh Sales account, so there's a basic difference. So Freshworks basically provides you ticketing system and customer service support systems, but Fresh Sales actually provides you a way for you to actually manage the client relationships and maximize your revenue. So Fresh Sales is a tool that is going to help you in maximizing profits, while Freshworks is a tool that will actually help you in generally just managing your ticketing system, managing your uh, emailing system and managing the overall inquiries of your business now on your left side your basic navigation panel so first off you have your dashboard so this is my basic dashboard then below that i have my contacts and accounts i have my deals and deals management so my sales forecast my activity goals then i have my products documents the sales conversions so the email templates the sales sequences bulk emailing phone and sms and inboxes then i have my automations then i have my analytics and management i have analytics and chat reports and then i have my general administrative settings I have my phone chat and Freshworks switcher as well so I can log on to like one of my Freshworks platform and then I can log on to the other on my top right over here I have my creation button so if I click on this I can add contacts I can add an account I can add deals products documents tasks call logs meetings and all that stuff below that I have my email sender so I can directly send email from the fresh sales platform without wasting any time and then I have my notification what's new and then I have my general account settings now to get started with fresh sales and to begin your journey you're going to actually link your product and your account so if you click on your accounts and contacts this is probably one of the most important things that you're going to add so if you click on your contacts these are going to be individual people that you are uh, managing your stuff with so this is just a sample that they have added you can add your uh, contacts just by clicking on import contacts over here and upload your own csv file or a xls file now if you don't have a csv file you're going to have to add your contacts manually which is going to be a lot of work so i wouldn't recommend doing that i would usually recommend that you do upload a csv file or you can just click on the plus icon on the top as i showed you guys at the start so I can just click on this plus, I can click on add contact, and then I can just add the value or the street name or whatever I want. I can just add and I'm just going to save this. So I'm going to enter a email address and save that. And now you can see I've added this new contact. Now with each contact, you can add a lot of details. So you can add the overall location you can add tags you can add the what kind of uh, contact this is so this could be a lead but you can also add this as a customer you can add this as a sales qualified lead so you can add different specific fields to add your different contacts to now you can also add accounts in the same manner so if it's an entire business that you're in communication with you can add that over here as well now below that you have your deals management and if you just click on deals over here from there you can manage your overall deals so I'm just going to do this. Now you can link this to any project manager or you can link this to any communication manager like Slack. So Slack is something that they recommend that you uh, link to your uh, fresh sale CRM, but that is totally up to you. Now you can see that you have your different columns. This is just a template column, but you can create your own columns as well. So what I can really do is I can just click on over here, add deal, and I can add a specific deal onto this i can click on add deal from here and i'm just going to enter let's say i have a um, bow tie deal and i can just click on deal value to ten thousand and then i'm just going to click on save and obviously i can add the specific contact i can add the 
uh, contact or I can add the person that is dealing with this sale. So I'm currently the sales owner. I can change it to someone else as well. And that is how you add different deals. So you can create a specific section for your deal. So I have new, follow up, under review, demo, negotiation, won or lost. And you can see where your deals are headed, which deals are at risk. You can monitor um, certain deals that have been long term. So you can just manage them from here. And let's say you have the bow tie deal. If it's the new deal and maybe now you have followed up with that, you can move that to the next section. When it's being demoed, you can move it to the next section. And once you have finished your deal, you can just move it to the next section and then you can close your deal and it will be removed from the basic navigation panel. And then you can later on monitor it as per your needs. Now below that you have your product. So this is going to be your product inventory. You can add different products. So you can add products directly with a CSV file. I would recommend doing that, but if you don't, you can add your products manually like this. So it could be um, a hair tie. And then you can choose a category. So let's say you have a hardware and this is the active number, whatever is the SQ number. You can add the owner of this product and then you can choose when this product is going to be valid till when this product is going to be valid. And now you can add prices as well. So you can click on add or edit prices and you can say this is a one time price of $10. And you're just going to click on save over here and now you've added your product and you've added the price of the product as well. So you can see now my product has been added. So in this fashion, you can add all of your information for your business onto your fresh sales platform. Now below that, you have your journal document. So and that's pretty self-explanatory. But below that, you have your sales conversion. So if you go on to bulk emailing, that is one of the great features that I find amazing about fresh sales is that you can do inboxing and emailing directly from here. You don't have to do a lot with other emailing networks. You can manage all of your emails with here as well, which I find to be a pretty useful thing and below that you have your chat boxes and you have your whatsapp campaigns as well and you can run them automatically once you've gathered enough data about your customer base so once you have enough data about your customers you can easily run online automated whatsapp campaigns and chat campaigns for your customers now below that you have your analytics and you have your web analytics so people can fill out different forms on your website if you link your website and then if you go into analytics you can just view the overall progress of your general sales network so if you open up your analytics section over here it's empty right now because i haven't entered any data but once i have my data set up there would be actual charts and graphs regarding the overall um, platform or the overall sales system that i have now in your reports you have you know product dashboards you have campaign reports you can have sales forecasts and sales dashboards you can have specific campaign reports according to emails or according to a specific campaign name as well so this is how you get started with fresh sales now this is just a trial version of fresh sales some of these features are excluded from their free version so let's take a look at their pricing now the free version has the basic contact and account management you have your contact life cycle stages mobile application and built-in chat email and phone support then you have the growth version which starts at $15 per user per month which also has visual sales pipelines your AI powered predictive contact scoring product catalogs and sale sequences then you have your growth version at $39 per user per month with multiple sales pipelines and you also get chat campaigns and then the enterprise version starts at $69 per user per month where you can also receive audit logs you also have a account manager a auto profile enrichment and a AI focused forecasted insight so in general fresh sales is pretty decently priced all of their plans are pretty great and I would recommend that if you do really need a powerful CRM tool, Fresh Sales is definitely something you should consider. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to use the Fresh Sales platform. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.